So a YouTuber I follow um, that does outdoor equipment kind of stuff and, and outdoor adventures, uh, one of the things I noticed a few of them are starting to do is they have hot chocolate at the end of the day. So I got a good quality kind, Gerdelli. And then what they do is they put a little bit of Jack in it. One of the unique things, I haven't had hot chocolate in like 10 years. It's not something I have regularly. I probably had tea more than that in the evenings. And most of the time I just don't drink anything in the evening, unless if it's like beer or something like that. So I'm gonna try a little bit of good quality hot chocolate with, uh, with Jack Daniels and see how it goes. So this will be the outdoor system. Let me adjust the light. So we're just gonna use one of the little stoves. So one of the advices it gives is to do about eight ounces of water. I actually wanted to do about 10. This will allow me a little bit of room for um, for evaporation. And also, uh, I don't like my hot chocolate like super strong. I'm more of like a milk chocolate kind of person, so I don't mind it a little bit, just a touch of extra water. Uh, I kind of need both hands to start it, but I have a sparker on mine. I just do that. Well, maybe I could do it with one hand. And we've got fire. All right, we'll go ahead and let that boil and then come back. All right, it is going for a nice boil. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the temperature a bit. Have it as like a simmer and then Uh, I need my hands for this, hang on. All right, I don't see any clumps. Seem to come out pretty smooth. Still got the burner on a little, but I'm gonna turn that off and let's give it a try. A little bit of stuff in there I'll get out with a spoon. Alright, so I got everything all poured in. Seems like the magic trick is not a lot though, just a little bit. So. Perfect. Give that a good stir. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it about two minutes to cool real quick though. Alright. Now it's time to try the whiskey chocolate. Oh wow, that is good. Mmm. Now I can see where a lot of people would want a lot, uh, but I maybe poured one shot in here for eight ounces. Gives it just a little bit of a kick. Kind of something that could definitely relax you. I mean, I know it's in there, like I'm aware, but it's not like strong. It's not, it's not giving it a tart flavor. I taste more of the chocolate than the whiskey. I'm assuming putting whiskey in hot water too probably does something to the alcohol. Wow, but that's really good. I'd be curious to um, <laughs> add more and then put it like in a fridge. And then have like a cold, uh, like chocolate milk with. But the thing is, is there, there, there's powdered dairy in here, but there's not um, like, like m milk dairy, like you know, grocery store dairy stuff. It's it's powder milk, you know. So um, it may taste different with it uh, cold compared to just putting Hershey syrup type stuff and like regular milk. That's good. Now, the packet says, another suggestion is put it in um, cold milk, the packet and eight ounces of cold milk and then steam it like they do at Starbucks or something to make a latte if you have um, an espresso machine. That sounds really good to, other than using water, using milk. But like the packet says, there is uh, milk in here. There is, uh, there's powdered milk to kind of give it the milky flavor and it tastes pretty good with water. I mean, this might be my new thing. I'll show you what, um, 
I got all these like camel meal teas from two different places. Let me see if I can get that to go. So I got these just huge bag of camel meal tea. So I've been doing um teas before bed, which is obviously gonna be a little bit healthier, not as much sugar, but um I got these on Amazon. And of course I picked a good quality, I didn't want any cheap one, but I don't know, maybe came in a pack of ton or something. But I might make this like a thing that I do maybe two or three nights a week. Uh, start, I'm in sort of the SoCal area. So we're still getting uh, short sleeve and like shorts weather and stuff like that. But it's getting cooler. It's not super cold yet, but it's getting cooler. So um, I may do this a couple of the nights. It's, it really starts to cool off down here. Definitely recommend this. You'd be surprised. Get one of these... Uh, Get the Gurdilly hot chocolate. Um, I put roughly about 10 ounces of water and then I put about one shot, which is what, one or two ounces of um, of whiskey in it. And uh, it's good, man. It's really good. I definitely recommend it. 10 out of 10. All right, so that was a short thing I just wanted to put together. I'm going to do a, um, a gaming thing, so like a van life gaming um, that I have, a, a, that like a, I have a bit of a solar setup. So I'm going to show how I game in my van, but I'm not a hardcore gamer, so I do only just do a couple hours a week. Compared to a lot of people that spend a lot of time on gaming, I maybe do... 8 to 12 hours a week and I'll go weeks and months sometimes without playing video games so that's just me that, that's how I do it I have done the rainy day thing where I've spent all day for 14 hours straight excuse me playing video games but normally um, I just do like two or three hours here the Nintendo switch has that really small screen after a while it starts to strain my eyes so I just do you know a couple hours here and there of um, of Whatever is popular at the time, I guess. I know I've got quite a few games on it. So that was going to be my next video. Was just a sort of a, um, a a van life gaming thing. Sort of a simple setup. Won't be the cheapest, but sort of simple. Anyways, have a good one and uh, thanks for watching. If anyone stuck around, later.